family, friends, and fellow gamers, welcome to Grumpy Gnome Gaming. I am Grumpy Gnome, and we are in President's Day problem. Weekend 2022. This is going to be a long line weekend, and fishermen are going to understand where that reference is. And that is because I am going to be releasing a series of video games, different games this weekend, because Grumpy Gnome got himself a new laptop. So we're sporting an MSI GE76 Raider. This is a 17.5 inch. It has... Oh my gosh, it, it's it got the NVIDIA 3070 graphic card, which is a 8 gig card. I've got 32 gig of RAM, 1 terabyte SSD, and uh, this thing is uh, just a beast. Uh, as you can tell, I'm no longer wearing headphones because the recording quality is really... I want to say it's a really good quality record and Not I basically problem. spent all of I spent all of yesterday trying to set up OBS on this new uh, one is not forced to walk in the steps of their new father. laptop Okay, back to the game. This is uh, Antillus Folsom. He is a harper just like Jahira in Khalid. Uh, he basically is introducing himself here. He recognizes Jahira. And of course, uh, we're honored. And here he is basically telling us that there are a couple people that we can trust in Baldur's Gate. Uh, one of those is Scar, and the other one is Duke Elton. And as. Um, kind of been discovered that we don't want to talk to these people yet. There's still a lot of quests that we want to get done, and um, let's go ahead and knock those out. Uh, he bounced uh, Jahira on his knee when she was a babe. So anyway, good to know. Okay, series of quests. This is the way this is going to work. We're going to bounce back and forth between West Baldar's Gate and the fishing docks. Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is we need to rescue a uh, dead child. Then we need to run up here, and then we're going to find out about that 10-day assassination plot against us. And if we don't deal with that... Uh, we never did cross the wall. It will be done. If we don't deal with the assassination plot, problem. then it will be done. It's game over for us because uh, our party's going to die. And this whole series would be uh, for naught. And so. I'm going to try to squeeze in all of this bouncing back and forth in 30 minutes. But, um... I love money. money. Yes, yes, I do. do. Alright, drunk. Hello there, Don. I'm an ex-merchant. How does one become an ex-merchant? Well, you do this, and then you do that, and then you lose it all, and voila, you're homeless. Sorry to hear that. Okay. So anyway, please, might I have your ear a moment? Okay, this is Varsi, and Varsi's gonna take us to his house where we're gonna meet uh, some dude who's gonna tell us that basically they were up to no good. The friend he was with, whose name is Kasson, got caught and uh, they killed him. Okay, I'll not move a muscle, waste not. Lead on, young one. Oh, excellent. So now we're going to follow him to his house, which is right here. Whoops. There is nothing I can do, and but I must do something. Okay. It's a risk, 
I'm risky is everything. That's right. So this is Tremaine, and he's going to tell us what's going on. So Varsi, who have you brought here? I want to be alone with my thoughts. Yeah, but, uh, you know, these are the best people I could find. So tell me, and then this is a long, long, you know, dialogue here. But anyway, what basically happened is um, Lady Tamora. So this is, I guess, the person that he worships. Anyway, uh, this guy is a cleric of, of some sort. And basically, the kids are playing around the Water Queen's house. And uh, the body is still over there. Okay, anyway. So a little bit of mischief, but they killed him anyway as he tried to escape. It's a harsh sentence for a simple prank. Yeah, it is. But anyway, let's see here. Your man said, why don't you do it yourself? I want to know what the payment is. Uh, luck or no luck would be the shame. You know, that's going to be the noble answer right there. Or basically, you know, hey, he did it to himself. So we're going to do this. And okay, blah, blah, blah. They're an unfriendly group. So, okay, anyway, Tremaine's son goes in our journal, and With ease. we're out of here. So, can we just be done. exit here? Exit? I don't think it's going to let us exit. No. All right, back we go. Or we can just do this, and this will take us to the exit. So, anyway, yeah, we are going to have a busy weekend. I plan to upload hopefully around 10 maybe 12 videos this weekend uh, if I can do tutorials for them I will start off with the tutorials because uh, knowing some of my audience these are games that they may not be familiar with and the tutorials may give them a little with ease taste of what each of these games are in case they want to check them out for themselves. And plus, obviously, if there's a tutorial for it, I haven't played it yet. And that's going to help me to get along and hopefully make an enjoyable gameplay for you guys. Based upon the popularity of the games, or shall we say the... the number of comments received obviously positive that's going to determine a priority as to what games I'm going to focus on obviously the games that get the higher attention the storm shall take those who are unfaithful the the games that get it will be done the higher number of comments the more feedback are the ones that I'm probably going to put more effort into. The storm shall take, take those who are unfaithful. Okay, so I don't know if we spoke with Tenya or not when we came across Worm Crossing. So we're going to try to do this first. And we already know that these people that we are dealing with here are not nice people. So I'm probably going to turn off the noble sensor and uh, deal with them accordingly. So you wish to see Tenya? Wait here, I'll go get her. Amberly guides my way. Okay. So anyway, um, well, I should say mother, and I expected to see you again. You're going to try to collect some type of payment. Um, I wish nothing from you save the body of the fool who tried to save you. I imagine the return of such an infidel. I demand payment. I am due for the cause. You and your Umberleys will not have prevailed without my help. Please, I beg of you. You know what? I'm going to go for this one. Because I have no idea where that's going to go. I demand payment. I am due for helping your cause. I wish nothing of you, save the body of the fool, tried to break into your hollowed halls. You know what? Let's do that. Let's be a little more strict with them. I demand it. Boom. 
Well, uh, such brass disrespect. Okay, bloodthirsty lot. Very well. You may have the body you came for. I doubt it will raise them, but I've learned by this time. Unbelieve um, yourself, chat. Okay, never come by here again unless summoned. See what happens. Well, we got the body. I'm wondering if that was the right answer or not. But, let's go. See what happens. So now we're going to run back up to the north. We're going to return the body. And we're going to go, let's see, we always have to go to this spot. It will be done. Oops, and I think the bridge is over here. Yeah, there it is. It's a very poor navigation that you have to actually physically cross the bridge every time rather than uh, jumping from one spot to another. But, okay, now we cleared the bridge. We're going to go this direction. I'm excited to get this video uploaded because I really want to finish Not a problem. this playthrough. Like I've said a couple times in the past, this is not my preferred group. I really wanted to keep to the storyline of the original novel, where this would have been the group. And of course, that storyline also continued into Baldur's Gate 2. For future runs in Baldur's Gate, and there's going to be a couple more, they're going to be more themed. You roll your dice, and you take your chances. Okay, so now we're going to see how the magic plays out. So we lost the child's body. And then we need to talk to him one more time, and he's going to do his magic. You roll your dice, and you take your chances. That's right. Boom. And Kassan is awake. So Kassan doesn't know what's going on. This guy's, you know, blessed our smiling lady. He lives on the child. Oh my gosh. This guy's really must be a lawful evil. I'm sorry, a lawful good person. Because basically after this did a the kid did all the mischief and now he's gonna do like any kid does. He's gonna deny everything, you know, and he's gonna be the father figure and he's basically gonna say, you know, shut up, kid. You know, what you did was wrong. Kid's still going to try to talk his way out of it. And then finally, he's going to say, go up to your room. You can take a timeout. So, boom. Timeout. But, 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 yeah, we've all heard that before. Nope, that's the way it is. They're gone. Uh, and we're done here. Let's get out of here. Okay. With ease. Now let's navigate to the wall. And. Camaraderie, adventure, and steel on steel. The stuff of legend. Right, Boo? All right, Boo. Okay, because those priestesses in the water house did not turn evil against us, that means that we can go back there again and hopefully talk to them. So where we're going right now is into this region here. And the reason we're going to go here is we're going to meet Please. the assassin that put... Well, he didn't do it. His brother or somebody did who put the spell on us poisoned us. Uh, he's under a geese spell, but um, we need to get this spell lifted. Excuse me, please let me speak. See, here he is. 
I am Lathander, partner assassin of this dude. I do not wish to harm you. Uh, well, okay. We don't have time to listen to an assassin of the Iron Throne. Or, um, I'll give you a chance, make it quick. You know, as, as fast as he ran to us, I bet you he's got something magical on him. Okay, we'll give you a chance, make it quick. And here's where he says, my partner Merrick has poisoned you while you slept. He slipped a slow-acting poison into your rations. You have 10 days to live, and that 10 days is also game time. If 10 days go by in this game and we do not get this antidote, our game is over. That is, uh, that's it. So we need to actually get this quest completed. Uh, common tree spells won't work. The only thing that's going to help you is an antidote. Um, I can help you find it, but you got to help me first. You know, and here again, why don't we just kill you? Well, we don't know that he actually has the antidote on him. Okay, what do you want us to do? Or don't lie to us. Um, we'll play along, you know, see, because he's, he seemed a little out of it. So my problem is this, I don't work for the Iron Throne. Uh, because I've been uh, I've been forced to. Uh, they have inspelled me with the geese. Do, I do not obey everything that he orders me. Okay, so anyway, will you help him? We don't have the money. Sorry, find someone else. We'll help you take us to the diviner. So the diviner is going to tell us who can... Uh, get rid of the spell and this is the dude we need to speak with done. knowledge used wisely is the most powerful of tools yep unfortunately there's no way around the 50 gold and at this point in the game we really have more gold than we need anyway so 50 gold that's ridiculous or here's the money you better be for real okay i am for real now what do you want to know and here's a series of questions of course, the one that we're interested in is the one that deals with Lathander and who can break the spell. Only the High Priestess of the, the Mistmire of Umbria has the power to do so. Uh, she's once again at the Water Queen's house. So, continue. Cannot answer any more questions. Leave. Okay, well, he answered oh, the one that we My life is in shambles. Yeah, and you see this guy, he's just a sad, sad case. So anyway, let's get on out of here. It will be done. And we're heading back to the waterhouse to deal with uh, with getting rid of this quest. Dang, I'm I'm excited for this weekend. Uh, so far, everything has been running really well, with the exception that it took me a day to program OBS because it had a graphic interface conflict with some of the older games that I'm running. And after watching about 10 YouTube videos <laughs> and two hours later, another three hours of trying to troubleshoot it, um, this fix was so simple that I could have explained it in a minute and a half. And I might just go ahead and... Um, make a video on on how to fix what they call the OBS black screen uh, for people who do the YouTube recordings. It's basically go to your graphics settings, um, make sure that you have the app of OBS there, click on the app, go to where the uh, graphic the graphic cards are, and it's going to say let Windows choose, use it all, the old integrated card or use the uh, whatever NVIDIA card, the high performance card. And basically, if you get black screen, 
go to the older or the uh, the power saving video card instead of the high performance. Uh, restart the game, or not restart the game, restart the computer and open OBS, open your game, and it should pop up right there in your window. Um, I'm not going to talk about any games. I'm not going to talk about any pets or anything to make that a 15, 20 minute video. That's all you got to do. So we're going to talk with the priest. Done. Priestess. The storm shall take those who are unfaithful. That's right. And just to give you an idea that we're really at an evil place, um, <laughs> even the priestesses refer to their leader as the bitch queen. So, okay. We wish to speak with the high priestess. So we want to see what this is all about. Or we're tourists, you know. So, no, nope, we're going to do this one. And then the High Priestess doesn't have time for commoners. Anyway, basically, perhaps a little donation. Would 25 gold do or for, or for 50 gold? I'm not going to take the chance that that's going to um, turn them hostile or they're going to get, uh, what is it, that they're going to be embarrassed, I guess. Or There's another word for it. I just can't think of it right now. Intimidated or whatever. Anyway. 50 gold was adequate. The bitch queen brooks no insolence. Okay, so here we go. What reason do you have to visit the bitch queen? Okay, we've come to pay our respects to your temple. We need of your power. A companion of ours is cursed with the geese spell. Uh, we want you to remove the spell. We'll pay any price. Well, no, you know what? We're not going to pay any price. But let's, um, this one. What do we need to do? Boom. I do not offer my power. If you wish to favor, you first have to do a favor for Umberly. Okay. What do you want? The favor is a simple one. It's a holy uh, day. Storm call approaches. The first time overseeing this ceremony. Blah, 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 blah. Basically, she wants a book. And the book is up at the place called the Ladies Hall, which is right across the street from where... Um, the uh we dropped off the boy okay what's your decision we don't like your offer we'll leave or we have no other choice and of course we have no other choice so we're gonna do that one i don't care once you get the book well met. okay so we're gone anyway that updated our journal and now guess what back to the west Baldur's not a problem out. And we're going to do it, we're going to do it, we're going to do it. And you know what, we can actually leave right here. And remember, we got to go through this. Not Over problem. the bridge. Over the bridge and through the woods to Grandma's house we go. But we're going to the lady's house. And once we get this book, yeah, you'll see. Well, we'll just play it out. Travel there. Not a problem. Back this way again. Getting the book, getting the book. This group shows promise exceptional. That's right, breaking the law, breaking the law. And this is the lady's house right over here. So we're going to go in, and we got two individuals here. And we're going to speak with this uh, priesty looking dude up here. Not a problem. This way, good sir. Over here. This way, good sir. Over here. Okay, welcome. Uh, luck has seen the drop of the lap of ladies. So be good care of these indeed. Uh, those who dare to seek her out, you know, best light, but small donation, a coin, whatever you need. I think this is kind of like a temple type place. That's what it sounds like. Anyway. 
We have no need for your service. Uh, could you show us what you have to offer? We're desperate for a book, a book of wisdom. And uh, let's see what this says. Book of Wisdom is a holy book. Why should I give it to the likes of you? We'll give you 500 gold for it, or you got to trust us. Uh, we'll die if we don't get this book back. And basically that's true. We have, we will die. Please, you don't want... Um, Basically, you don't want the death on your conscience. Uh, your plea seems genuine, you know, blah, blah, blah. Here's the book, and we got it. And we're going to do a little shuffling around here because books are heavy. You get to carry it. The Cloak of Displacement, I decided I was going to throw that on Jahira just so somebody gets some use out of it. And you know what? We are done here. We got our book. And guess where we're going? That's right. Back to the docks. It will be done. Whew. Yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get this video uploaded. I'm going to jump. My next one is going to be Banished. Uh, like Baldar's Gate. I've got over 5,000 hours of playtime in Banished. I've completed all the achievements. I know that game. I want to do a quick 30 minute uh, video in Banished just to get it out there. And not a problem. Then we're going to start venturing into games that I haven't played or that I've got a little familiarity with, but they're new to the system. And because they're new to the system, I hope to begin them in the tutorial phase and then play from there. And like I said, because that's going to give a lot of my uh, audience members an opportunity to check out if they may like the game or not. So they're games of different genres. We've got adventure games. We've got city builders and empire builders. Uh, we've got some games that are post-apocalyptic. We have other games that are planet-based. And so we've got a little variety of everything. There's even a couple freebie games in there and mobile games that have been converted to PC. Okay, here's where the fun begins. It will be done. The Bitch Queen brooks no insolence. Well, we're going to pull a bitch move here, so here we go. So you've returned with the Book of Wisdom. Let me see it. Um, we don't trust you. Before we show it to you, we want the cure. So, yeah. How dare you question my honor? Very well, the scroll is scripted in the incarnations that will rid your friend of the curse. Now give me the book. And guess what? Actually, we don't have the book. Ha 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 ha, the fool. You will pay for your impotent, all right. And boom, everybody turns hostile. Let the party begin. She is not a hard kill. And I don't know if these guys out here are going to actually aid her or not, but they're even easier to kill. But here we go. Boom. And see, she's down already. And these guys are like, these mm. two are going to take this one out. Uh, you guys all back here. Cool. Go after this one. And now you guys can all go out. Uh, actually, everybody yes. can go after this one. Boom. So those are 175. Uh, experience each. Uh, this is what the bitch queen was wearing. It's a plus one leather armor. Got a nice stone. Got some 200 gold. There's the 50 that we paid to talk. And I think that's everybody. And oh, what happened here? I saw poison someplace. Oh, poison. That must have been from uh, Jahira. And I want to just see if we got... Whoop! 
There's our timer. 6,000 experience for killing um, the Bitch Queen. So anyway, we now have the Book of Wisdom. And we've got the 6,000 experience points. We are done. Not so a problem. Make sure that there's no other... Oh, there is another one. It's another 175 experience points. Uh, it's a regular uh, Morning Star or a uh, flail. We're done here. Let's go out. This video has come to an end. It will be done. And what I think I'm going to do is call it the game right here and get this uploaded tonight. Let's pause it. I'm going to upload this one tonight, and uh, tomorrow being a holiday, I may be able to get another 30-minute run-in. And like I said, uh, my highest priority right now is to bait as many hooks as I can, which is upload as many different videos as I can, and see which ones get bites and uh, which ones are just not popular at all. So with that said, thank you very much for either returning to our journey or for discovering us for the first time. Uh, once again, I am Grumpy No. Please, if you like this video, give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Subscribing is going to be the, uh, the biggest help that you can do for this channel and sharing it. You know, if you know somebody out there who would be interested in uh, these type of games and who can tolerate my voice, you know, by all means, share it with them and uh, we'll continue. All right, guys. Grumpy Gnome, I'm out of here. Thank you very much.